Hey guys, another repair tutorial from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the hard drive on a PS4 CUH1215A or 1200. In some countries, it's sold as a 1216, so it could be a, a CUH 1200, CUH 1215, or a CUH 1216. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the hard drive on it today. So, if you're getting the PS4 cannot start error, you're starting with a CE, and when you start the PS4, you just get a black screen with the PS4 cannot start message. You need a new hard drive. Or if you try to start your uh, PlayStation, and just get stuck on the PS logo with the black background, you need a new hard drive. Or if you turn on the PS4 and the white light comes on the console, but it stays on a black screen, it could be an HDMI port, So, but you gotta check the pins on the HDMI port, but if the pins are good, you could need a new hard drive. So before you start replacing your hard drive, there's a slight chance you might not need a new hard drive. What you wanna do is unplug your old hard drive and plug it back in, see if it works. If not, then you definitely need a new hard drive and uh, this video is going to be very very useful for you we sell the hard drives on our website i'm going to put a link in the description box and we also sell the tools that you need and we're, i'm also going to be putting a link in the description box for those and uh, don't forget to check out our website if you need any other tools or parts at www.fasttech.ca or fasttechstore.com let's get started i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your ps4 if it has this error message um, it's basically going to tell you that it can't access system storage and you're going to get the error code CE34335-8 and this problem is caused due to a defective hard drive. Uh, so what happens is when the PlayStation 4 can't read the hard drive, it doesn't start because a lot of the critical operating system files are located on the hard drive. So it does not boot, it won't start till the hard drive is replaced with the working one. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix that today on your PS4. All right, so here's our PS4, model 1215A. Uh, in other countries, it could be a CUH 1200 or 1216, if you're in Asia or Europe. So what we're gonna do to get to the hard drive to replace it, if you're getting a PS4 can't cannot start error, or if your console goes to a black screen, or if you're hearing ticking noises from the console and nothing comes up on the screen, you probably need a new hard drive. So to get to the hard drive, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this panel here. We can do that by, by pulling it like so, okay? And it's just gonna slide right off, okay? Once that panel's off, we're gonna remove this Phillips screw right here. If you don't have a Phillips screwdriver at home, uh, most people do have them at home because they're very, very common. If you don't, we sell them on our website and I'll put a link in the description box. Okay, we're gonna remove this screw. And then we're gonna pull here and then the hard drive is gonna come out. This hard drive has an enclosure on it right here. So we're gonna have to take the hard drive out of the enclosure. There's four Phillips screws here that we're gonna have to remove with our Phillips screwdriver. This one's a 500 gig. We're putting a two terabyte in there. Um, you can put a, uh, you can replace a 500 with a 500 gig or a one terabyte or a two terabyte, whatever you like, as long as it's uh, the right spec and size. We sell all different kinds of hard drives on our website. Uh, including solid state drives, uh, which you should check out if you're trying to increase the loading times and load speeds of your PS4 because it makes a huge difference in performance. But SSDs are also um, more expensive. So once we have the screws out, our hard drive should be free. Okay, so this is what a stock PS4 hard drive looks like. It's an HGST 500 gig. Okay, we're gonna put a Seagate two terabyte in there from Fast Tech. We sell these on our website, so do check us out at www.fasttech.ca. This one has a warranty sticker on it. Um, the one you buy from our site may or may not have this. Some of them have them internalized. Uh, so if you buy one and doesn't have the sticker, don't worry. Uh, we still have track of them and we cover them with a warranty uh, and uh, they're guaranteed to work and obviously we'll, we'll provide uh, technical support with them as well. So check us out, www.fasttech.ca or fasttechstore.com, also fasttech.us. Um, so yeah, we're gonna install this hard drive 
in our enclosure here. Install the screws. Best way to do it is, is to do it diagonally. means in a cross pattern. Okay. And tighten our screws. Once we have our hard drive in our enclosure, we're gonna slide it in. We're gonna put the Phillips screw back in. And then we're gonna install our top panel back, the hard drive the pan cover panel back on. And now guys, there is one other step. Uh, you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to download the software which I'm gonna put in the description box you have to download it onto a USB stick and follow the follow the instructions in the description box uh, and install the software which I'm gonna show you in the next step I actually did uh, the process on a different PS4 uh, but it's exactly the same on this console so I'm gonna put that clip in in the next sequence to show you guys how to do go through that process and the, the on-screen instructions of what you need to do is gonna be coming up next, but the instructions on making the USB stick uh, are gonna be in the description box along with the file that you're gonna to need to download. Once uh, we've installed a hard drive, we're going to plug the console in. I'm gonna uh, plug it in on our TV, turn it on, and then it's gonna take us to this screen, which it's gonna show in a few seconds where it's going to ask us to install the, the system software update. It's going to say it can't start and it's going to require a system software update. Uh, and I'm going to be adding the instructions on, in, the, in the video description. I'll put a link to Sony's website where you can download the update and put it on the USB stick. You're going to download the update, put it on the USB stick, plug it in the console, and make sure your controller is plugged in with a USB cable. Then you're going to press the PS button, this button right here, and then it's going to take you to this screen and it's going to say connect the USB storage device. Well, yeah, you're going to put the, um, put the files on a USB stick and then you're going to press OK. You're going to plug the USB stick in, in your PS4, press OK, and then it's going to start uh, looking for the update. Um, and then we're basically just going to press yes. It's going to install the update. The console is going to restart and you're basically done. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys the next screen. And then it's going to start the uh, initialization process. Uh, and then we're pretty much done at that point. And then after that, all we have to do is play the console. Um, and in my case, I'm returning it to the customer. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now it's going to say PS4 will be initialized. Da da da. All data will be deleted. There's nothing on this hard drive anyway, so we're just going to press yes. And now it's initializing. It's going to do this and it's going to restart. And then it's going to take you to another screen where it's going to install the software. Um, and basically that's all there's to it. It's gonna restart and uh, the rest of it's gonna be done by the PlayStation 4. You don't have to worry uh, about anything. It's just, you just have to press yes. Uh, I think you might have to press yes one more time. So uh, there you have it guys, another video from Fast Tech. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, share the video if you like it. So it did the update and uh, now it looks like it's ready. Uh, now we basically just have to set it up. Um, English United States next it's gonna ask you to set up your Wi-Fi and once you've done all that um, you should be good to go uh, we're not gonna set up the Wi-Fi right now set up later skip um, US Canada next 
next next it asks you so many questions it's like guys i just want to play my freaking game i'm not interested in all this but here there it is so looks like it works we have a new hard drive in it uh again guys don't forget to subscribe helps us out a lot thank you Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button. And don't forget to like our videos and comment on them if you have any questions. Uh, and don't forget to check out check us out at www.fasttech.ca or fast